Hello, YouTube, for another exciting episode of us playing the Insmith Conspiracy. Yes! In the first one, things went pretty all right in the caves. Uh, we got out, Travis, unfortunately. I mean, but you died by a brain. I so died the right, good. the best way. Um, we're now doing the vanishing of Eleanor Harper. Travis, why don't you uh, take it away with your literal novel? Wednesday, August 17th, 1927, five weeks earlier. Wake up, damn it! Agent Dawson shakes you awake with his right hand. You're in the passenger seat of a pristine, state-of-the-art motor car, its polished body glowing with light from the moon as it rolls through the foggy Massachusetts countryside. We're almost there, Dawson informs you. Unfortunately, Innsmouth lacks a working railroad, which you would have preferred. There is a bus that runs from Boston to Newburyport, and another that runs from Newburyport to Innsmouth, but Dawson had insisted on driving you there himself, perhaps to provide you with an escape route should things go sour, or to show off his expensive automobile. Probably both. Yeah, yeah take your pick, right? Yeah. As you arrive in Innsmouth, the stale odor of day-old fish and decrepit, musty buildings washes over you. Delicious. Many of the buildings along the western side of town seem to be abandoned, though you occasionally spot figures in some of the windows. You imagine Agent Dawson's opulent car must make a potent impression in such a dirty and dingy town. You joke that perhaps you should have driven here in Jalopy, to which he replies with a smirk. That's never been my style. Eventually, you reach a defunct railroad station that was given up years ago. A few train cars sit abandoned on the tracks, and the depot is boarded up and condemned. Dawson suddenly grimaces and points to another vehicle on the open lot. That's Agent Harper's breezer. Let's park here and continue on foot. We can move through the town a little easier that way, he reasons. You check Agent Harper's vehicle before continuing, but it contains no clues as to her whereabouts. From there, you head eastward beside the Manuxet River, passing numerous deserted warehouses, sodden alleyways, and standoffish townsfolk. Harper's gotta be here, gotta be somewhere in this forsaken town. Residents don't look all too friendly. Wouldn't be surprised if she drew too much attention from a local mob or the like. Dawson begins to contemplate aloud. You ask how he knows his agent isn't simply keeping a low profile. Ah, yes. Well, we have a code phrase for that. If she sent me a letter saying that she had some errands to run, that would signal that she would be out of touch for a short while. Without that signal, I have to assume the worst. To the northeast, several factory buildings loom over the rest of the town's sagging gambrel roofs, cupolas, and widow's walks. None of the lo locals stop to greet you along your way. Given the repulsive countenance that many of them bear, their aversion to the usual small-town pleasantries is a relief. Eventually, you reach the town square just south of the Minexit. Though even these crumbling build brick buildings that surround the supposed heart of the town inspire little confidence in Agent Harper's safety. An old bus idles nearby, its greasy-looking driver leaning against the door and eyeing you suspiciously. With little else to go on, you decide to split up, knowing that you can cover much more ground that way. Canvas the locals and learn more about this town, Dawson says. Find out who the big shots are in this hellhole. One of them's bound to know where Harper was last seen, or who she was with. I'm going to see if I can find where she was hiding out and look for some sign of her. Meet up with me here at 1900 hours, understand? Not in agreement, and go your separate ways. The first person you check with is the bus driver, who probably has a decent understanding of the town. His coarse, grayish skin is the first thing you noticed, followed swiftly by unusually deep and shallow creases in the flesh of his neck, almost as if he were prematurely aged. His bulging eyes are unsettling, and you're suddenly unsure whether you've seen him blink even once as you approach. You start to offer your hand as you introduce yourself, then think better of it, just in case the man has some kind of disease you've never heard of. <laughs> he introduces himself as Joe Sargent, and gives you a useful, if cursory, rundown of some of the nearby buildings. What follows is a summary of information conveyed to the investigators about the town of Innsmouth. In plain view, the town square is the grocery of the first national chain, run by a youngster by the name of Brian Burnham, an outsider from Arkham. The idea that somebody else from Arkham might be here fills you with some degree of hope, and perhaps a little bit of pity for the boy. The Gilman House, owned by Othera Gilman, is the only hotel in town. Considering its shabby appearance, you suddenly wish you'd only planned a day trip. Down the street from the Gilman House, tucked between a dismal restaurant and drugstore, is the Little Bookshop, so named not for its size, but for its owner, Joyce Little. Mr. Sargent doesn't seem to care much for her. To the north, along the Minuxet, is the Marsh Refining Company, the centerpiece of the town's only industry. Joe so speaks of its owner, Barnabas, who he calls Old Man Marsh. <laughs> I know him! <laughs> A measure of reverence, anime, and admiration. Mr. Sargent tells you to avoid the old bridge along Fish Street, which has collapsed from years of disrepair and now serves only as a haunt for the dispossessed. 
and don't listen to that drunk Zadok. The bus driver warns. These Dales are just, how, how you do an, an accent from these guys are from? Oh, New England or? His tales are just that. Tales. Nothing more. Further east, past Water Street, lies Innsmouth Harbor. Sergeant warns you not to get in the way of the dock workers or their business, for they are a rowdy bunch who aren't used to outsiders, especially the ironically named Robert Friendly, whose name Sergeant honors with a hint of hostility. To the north, on New Church Green, there exists an old Masonic Hall, now given over to an organization referred to as the Esoteric Order of Dagon. What truly goes on inside this old, decrepit building is anyone's guess. Really bold of those guys to just like make their church named after the big bad. Yeah, really bold of them to just like give me two pages of text to read. <laughs> Finally, Mr. Sergeant asks you what you're doing in Innsmouth. You dodge a question with one of your own, asking him if he has seen anyone around town matching Agent Harper's description. He pauses and shakes his head. Never seen her, he mutters, refusing to meet your gaze. You spend the rest of the day learning the layout of the town and attempting in vain to make conversation with the locals. The more time you spend in a strange call of town, the more you wish you had never taken Agent Dawson up on his offer. There's something foul in the air here, something rotten and fetid that disturbs you to your core. Later that night, you meet up with Agent Dawson in the now deserted town square and share what you've learned. Take a look at this, he says, hanging you a creased, ink-stained letter addressed to him. Turns out Todd Harper had a room at that disgusting old hotel. Still does, technically, but it seemed like she hadn't been around for a few days. I broke in and found this among her things. Judging from the unmailed letter, it seems Agent Harper knew someone in town was tracking her movements. I'm being followed, the missive explains. Don't know how they know, but they know. It's like the whole town is in on something. I have no contacts here whom I trust. It's going to require more than one agent to sort this out. I fear the letter is cut short. Well, she has more than one agent now, Dawson says barely once you're done reading. There's only one reason she wouldn't have sent this letter. Harper's in danger, and somebody in this bald-up town knows where she is. Together, you begin to formulate a plan to find Agent Harper. First, narrow down her last known location. Second, find out who she knew was in town. Then, pay them a visit. Agent Dawson has briefed you on your task, prepared you for this mission, and you can now spend your experience. Good. And then you do, you do set up. together to form a deck. So we're basically playing Clue, right? Like, yeah. So well, the suspect and the location was taken. Yeah, and then this is this the lead deck. Cool. Uh, oh, set Agenda 2 and th Act... Agenda 3 and Act 2 out of play. Agenda 2? And Act 3. There's no Act 3 here. Act 2 and Agenda 3. Agenda 3, <laughs> Act 2. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> got those, I uh, got those, and you're in. now prayed again, except there's more reading. In this scenario, you're tasked to figure out which suspect enemy is kidnapped, which high location holder, done by discovering and spending clues to look at and draw cards from the lead deck. Um, so we're, like, the ones down here aren't the ones that are in here, so yeah. we're narrowing it down. Yeah. It's Clue, baby! Professor Plum! There's a list on our campaign list that house. I didn't print off because I didn't do that picture, or that side. Um, once you're confident your information, use the objective ability on Act 1 to advance. Beware, you only have so much time to find the truth, and you may have to guess. <laughs> well, that's not, that's not my speed. Alright, huh. you good? Like yeah. it's a, all right. Uh, six doom advances. Forced. If you defeat a suspect enemy other than the kidnapper, take control of each clue on that of each clue on that enemy. Recording your campaign log. That name of enemy is out for blood. Beef baby's out for blood. I don't think that's gonna be what his name is. Agent <laughs> uh, Agent Dawson is the dude that like turned into the amalgam, right? Like he's part of that. Yeah. yeah. Sucks to suck, man. As a lightning bolt, the investigators may spend three clues. Uh, sorry, player clues as a group to reveal the top. So let me actually read this and not assume. The investigators spend X player clues as a group. Parlay. Reel the top X cards of the leads deck to a maximum of three and draw one of them. Shuffle the rest back into the leads deck along with the top card of the encounter deck. Group limit once per round. Objective. You may advance at the end of any round. Hint. You will have to make an ac accusation when you advance. All right. Interesting. So... I'm going to go. Sure. Got a backpack to start things off. Backpacks are cool. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. 
my backpack is holding a net. I suppose I'm supposed to put it face down, but like Bran, I just it doesn't it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not a functional difference. I think they mostly do those so that you to make it clear which ones are not in play. Yeah, but you know, like it doesn't really matter right? as long as you can keep track of that. All right, we're gonna then also play this baseball bat and this little teddy bear. Backpack and sit off camera. Because I don't think I'll like... I might play the net on this one, it could be beneficial here. That's me. You ready for a scrap, Agent Dawson asks, pulling out baseball bats out of a bandolier like you bet it. Okay. Yeah. Who the fuck did I hide? <laughs> did not draw the sword. He's like... <laughs> Just the light of heaven. Alright, well, I'm gonna I mean, check I out had the guns for you stuff. guys, but uh... You didn't lie, you said you were gonna live there. Three shroud, three clues. As an action, search the top six cards of your deck for an item card and add it to your hand. Limit once per game. Items are good. Uh, ah, yes, I'd like to buy my father's harpoon here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a magnifying glass. Nice. Um. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll, fire, I'll fire this up. Which, what you got in stock? You got any lock picks? <laughs> Which I'm going to use to then break into the grocery store after uh, this? Yeah. Oh, that's okay, though. Shadow Agents was on top of my deck. Police nice. rats. So, uh, I can live with that. Then I'll investigate five to three. Nice. So yours is any location? Yeah. And if you... You can put them back, right? Yeah, but they don't get them off fire. Okay. And mine is just stops it, so yeah. we'll have a... Yours we'll... is like the good one. Yeah. The really good one. This one's fine, but... Uh, I see. Move. You got the clue? Failed to find a thing. Hey. And <laughs> yeah, move, browse the grocery store. They only sell fish. Yeah. <laughs> but they do have this sign that says, follow me. Because I know where uh, Arena Harper is. Six cents, Holy Rosary, and draw card. Nice. All right, cards and resources, everybody. And then we are at the bomb, first of six doom. Brand your evil card. Feels like you shouldn't get an evil card. We're just hanging out in Italy. Yeah. Time. We are just living our lives. Yeah, sh sure. Sure, but for all. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know that yeah, art. Good, good, good. I got the look. I am being picked up by a man, and that man is a night god. That's not a man. For That's all. Not. Minus two. If you fail, place one doom on the nearest enemy. I will take uh, damage and a horror. No enemies, though. And my tutti bear will take this for me. Thank you. And I'll stay on my location. I don't want to be a deep one. I'll test five to three. <laughs> I don't mind the other stuff. But I am scared of the deep one trait. I want to be. A, I want to be a deep one. <laughs> Quick, get the in smelt look cards. Yeah. <laughs> Dig up Arkhamor. Um. I think I'm then going to play a Rite of Sanctification. Nice. Then I'm going to move to another location. I'm going to go to... Um, I'm going to go to the, the hotel. I like that place. Gilman House? Yeah. Uh, two Shroud, three Clues. As an action, heal two damage or two horror or any combination thereof. Uh, group limit. Oh, sorry, not group limit. Just limit once per game. Just like group limit once per game. That would have been... Oh, sometimes that's just the way it is. That's it for you? Yep, that was reaction. Brent, why don't you go? Sure, I'll investigate yeah. to see if I can pick up the clue yeah. that I just dropped. That clue is rightfully mine! Nope. Oh. It's cool. gone forever. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, you like perusing through the, the wares, and then you were like, my god, this apple is a again. bite mark and like a bit of Agent Harper's saliva on it. Yeah. But then you, you like slipped and like it, you fell back in the pile of apples and you can get them. Hey. I was here. So sick. Sick. Instead, because that is harder. Noise. 
Um, I'll investigate again for my last action because uh, I really don't want to spend my last action drawing a card because yeah. the shadow agents yeah, hit like a just like yeah, just uppercut you. Yeah. Oh, fair. That's okay. Alrighty, we're gonna start by drawing a card. Hey, it's this guy. Well, buddy, I know him. Beef babies out for blood. <laughs> Uh, Forest, after you fail a skill test, we'll investigate and shove the top card of the encounter deck into the leads deck. Alright, so don't do that there. <laughs> Alright, uh, curse token in the bag, please. And then cards and resources and a blessed token in the bag with the power of Sister Mary. Yes. The top card was not a, not a Shadow Agents, for what it's worth. Who needs it? I feel like this is very flavorful with uh, Sister Mary as a, as a weakness. Mm -hmm. A random one. Yes, random. Kinda. Yeah, random within the pool that we had. Yeah, I mean, only had a 33% chance to get it. Uh, Bryn. Uh, Bryn, you can do it. Son of a bitch. You are gonna live I mean, in this like... grocery store. I'll commit this Faustian bargain to be up one. Stinky card. Interesting card Ooh. design. The accursed follower got me. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. So this guy is Initiative Dagon. Spawn in the empty location. When he has no doom on it, he gets plus two fight and plus two evade. And at the end of the round, we place one. If he's ready and there's no doom on him, we place one doom on him. This should be six, right? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Right on. I just feel like it could have been bumped. I don't know. What the frick is that guy? Test book three. He's a fish man. Everyone's a fish man. I take offense to that, first off. You're a fish man. Investigators cannot parlay. At the end of the round, discard. Okay. Well, the only thing I'm parlaying with is a fucking baseball bat. Yeah. Uh, I would like to go before you kill this guy. You come do your thing. Because I'll walk. I'll come over here. I'll put this false leaf back into the pool of cards that could be there. Um. I'm gonna play this eavesdrop. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Was that the card you hit from Travis? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that card's so bad. I don't disagree. I don't think he hit it. He played one last game. I will take three was clues from this location, oh. though. I mean, they're both kind of awful. He's just getting three clues from the location. Though. It's still awful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two off of the eavesdrop and one because oh. I'm Trish Scarborough. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, can I? As is it a lightning bolt or an action to spend my? We can't skills? parlay because of this. Oh okay. But it is a lightning right bolt. Right on, right it on. is a lightning bolt. I'm just kind of like maybe I shouldn't hold on to these. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe that's bad. Uh, I'll also play a follow. Uh, so I investigate. I'm picking this as my enemy. He doesn't have any damage on him, so but that's okay. Uh, we're just five to two. That curse follower is pretty nice for you. Boom. It just kind of hangs out. Yep. That's the turn. Alright, now I'm gonna kill this man. Yes. We're gonna play Jacob Morrison. Um, nice. Jacob. Engage this guy and we'll attack him. We're at six to two. Pull broke the bat. That's fine. Uh, he's dead though. Broke the guy though. Yeah, broke the man, broke the bat. That's me. Travis, you're good to go. Okay, I'll investigate with six cents. Five to two. I'll take a clue. I will do that again. And I guess I'll just do it again. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, I'm already, I already have two. It's a minus two. If you fail, place one doom in the next enemy. Would you like to get the bookshop? Yeah, you, could, you could choose oh, to take yeah. this, this clue. Uh, it's failing no. there is bad. Oh, yeah, fine. I was like, Brent wouldn't fail. But you could. <laughs> he has been known to occasionally do that. It has been known to happen. Uh, is that everybody? Yep. Cards and resources. Oh. Bong! No, these things are still over here. <laughs> Friend, I believe oh, this is gone. Uh, 
I'm a deep one, guys. <laughs> yeah, I've been there. Travis? Any empty location. Oh, sorry. This person gets a damn. What does this fucker do? Uh, when he would be defeated or invaded, and place one doom on it. Interesting. I would like to go first. Go for it. I will spend a blessing on my right of sanctification All to right. play a blessed blade for one resource. And then I will move into this doom man's location. <laughs> I'm walking with a sword like, where's Alina Harper? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me where she is, goddammit! Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to me. <laughs> He's dead. Nice. I'm helping. Wasn't there something about killing people? Uh, suspects. Oh. That's just a person that's just walking down the street. Yeah. Oh, I also, I'd like to spend my clues to spawn a thing. So you look at the top. I'm so much worse at passing book tests than you. <laughs> like I also so probably can't pass Draw one test. of them. I get to draw three. Uh, reveal the top X cards. Do you spend one player's clues? Uh, so you only get one. I mean, like, it might as well just be one. Unless you want to get rid of some clues, but... I can offload some of them in, on my turn and maybe, uh, maybe hit, like, two more cards. Yeah. This um, is the new church green. Put into play. It's got eight clues on and victory one. Six clues on. Sorry, it's been a long time since I played with three people. <laughs> two actions. If there are no clues on it, you can look the top card that leads deck it. If it does not have victory X, discard it. Group them once per game. <laughs> Alright, we're looking for squares. So squares here, and squares there, so it's up there. Cool. It's an explore deck, Justin. <laughs> Interesting. Not really. I mean, it does make sense. Like, the more we go poking around in Smith, they're like, hey, how about you uh, get out? What if, uh, what if you didn't do that? And you can be like, no, I'm a fish man. Sure. I'm Marsh. Uh, that's it for you? I'm a fish man. Uh, play, move, punch, yep. Yeah. Bryn, why don't you go next? All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna spend three clues to look at the top card. I guess you can't do that. It's creeping once per round. Uh, Just don't draw the uh, false leads. I not tell me that when I suggested that I could spawn more of them. I, the way you said it implied that you had a different use for your clues. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I am gonna move down here. We'll throw an investigate action at this 42. At the end of the day, Brent, I really feel like we're all, uh, both a little bit to blame. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You, I'll take the full. I, I feel like I'm being generous, but like we're both a little bit to blame. Uh, and I'll move up here. Cool. Uh, my turn is simple. We're just getting two resources. I'm going to play my seat change harpoon. You're going to gonna kill Doom Man. Pardon? thought you are going to kill Doom Man. you got to kill him twice. Yeah, if, if you he, wait, he doesn't if you have Doom on him, he'll take a whole turn. He'll yeah. heal. So yeah, actually, like, yeah. So if you yeah, if you wait for him to put the doom on yeah. himself and then go in and kill him, he's just like Zalon. Money and cards and a bus token into the bag. Wow, that's a huge draw. Uh, we would advance. What are these going to get doing? At the end of the round. The round yeah. Oh, that's Cute. cool. Oh, let's go uh, back the in. town of Innsmouth grows more and more hostile each day that passes. The townsfolk have caught on to your presence and perhaps even the risk of the visit. One day. Shuffle this head aside, winged one, and both haunting night gods into the encounter deck along with the, uh, the discard pile. We don't have the stick together memory, right? No. no. All right, we do not get this bonus. Rip. Sorry, what was the bonus? We would have got Thomas Dawson. Damn it. Uh, if you defeat a suspect other than the kidnapper, take control of each clue on that enemy. This can't be it after seven. It might be, but I would be surprised. 
He's pretty good. Okay, uh, Brent, your evil card. Oh my gosh, she's so good it's for you. It's a winged one. Hey. So good for who? Cool, cool. Brent. He takes one fewer damage from attacks, except by ranged fire arm or spell. I got the Night Gaunt. These are good. Did we? I got. Yeah, okay, we did. Skirt and Fog. Good. Good. Look who got an easy card. Instead of a thick enemy. Alright, you guys are all the way over there. How much is evade value? Four currently. It's just the shroud. Uh, yeah, like if I shuffle him into a different location, it's a different value. Okay. I can theoretically kill this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, I think I'm actually also like probably good. Sure. Uh, I'll go first. Okay. I'll shortcut up here. Hello. I'll play a break in it right Checks out. So I get to test at 8 to 3. Nice. Let's nice. just throw this at the thing. 10 to 3. Yay, we've succeeded that by back, two or back, please. I need those for my turn. Okay. It's an important part of the plan. Okay. <laughs> Um, so, breaking and entering, I will discover a clue because it was an investigate action. Um, evade a man for breaking and entering. I get to evade a man for free off of breaking and entering. Suck it. Uh, I get to evade another man for free he's because an I, uh... He's a dragon man. Yeah, oh god, he's... Trogdor. No, he's the guy, he's the birds. Yeah. <laughs> this oh, this is instead. <laughs> Yeah, okay, sure. Instead of evade him, or...? Yeah, it's, uh, it's instead of. That's okay. That's about doom? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, I can come kill him, sir. Um... Well, shit. Yeah, for my last trick, I'll try to evade him again. Nice. 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 Yeah. Nerd. Um, I'm gonna, you need their blessed token, so you go before I also draw a card off the okay. thing. Uh, yeah, I will hit with my blessed blade at four to three. The blessed blade. It's a pretty shit plan. The game's letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it again. Just can I believe. How they want damage. They took a damage. Uh, Sister Mary. I mean, like, I could have built my deck to deal with enemies. I chose not to. Thank you. <laughs> this isn't Sister Mary's. Oh, sorry. I guess it's uh, the, just the Blessed Blade. It's always just like... Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I'd be fine if the first one hit. But... Okay. Dang. Yeah, it's life. Oh, we didn't hit enough of them during scenario one. No. Nope. So here we are. We get kneecapped. Let's move in here. Um, we're gonna attack with my sea change harpoon. I think I'm just gonna try to kill the priest of Dagon. We have four, five, six, seven. So three. Nice. Nice. Uh, new button. It's actually just dead. I'll overturn this to my hand as well. Um, for our final action, we're just going to attack this guy. <laughs> uh, just at um, 5 to 3. Me and him have a long journey ahead of ourselves. What can you do? Alright, enemy phase. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I take a damage in the brain. Boom. That's a good draw. I got something for you, Travis. Sick. It's a pile of cursed stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Bong. She gets one. 
Uh, at the start of the round, I'm going to play Tides of Fate. I got something for you, Bryn. <laughs> yeah. You can draw your bad card while doing this. And then wait for me to take all the tokens out anyway. Oh no, this doesn't. I'm gonna snap I'm not doing that. instead of taking two damage. Cool. There's only one token that can go in there anyway. The game, it's uh... stupid. I lied, I'm not playing Tides of Fate. Sure. It doesn't want you to have clues. But now you have a perfect thing for this. Hey, it's the guy. <laughs> it's the guy from the thing! Uh, Brandy, probably da another damage of horror, man. I'm gonna throw a border into this. Shit. Don't worry, I'm gonna pass it. Excellent. Get out. <laughs> Alright, we're testing two to three. Minus three. If I fail, take one horror. Well, I can't Stop. count that high. <laughs> It's a tough one. Uh, on Jacob. Sorry, that's here. We cannot parlay this turn. I attack the Night Gaunt at 4 to 3. Nice. Excellent. Uh, that deals plus 2 as well. Right? Oh my god, it does on that one too. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, He's right okay. now in the feast of the feast or famine part of the card. Feast, feast. Of <laughs> I'm hungry, I'm hungry. One more time. Is That's this? minus two. Damn it. <laughs> Why am I so bad at me? <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to do I, anything. I think my but... goal is to come try to help Travis. That would be cool. Well, so, why don't you let Bryn go first? Sure, Bryn, you go first. Because Bryn could, like, evade that guy for free in theory. In theory. Yeah, in theory. Um, I mean, like, I guess I'll, I'll run it. I'm just, four, I'm, like, four to three. That's all I got. Oh, sorry, because you're dumb. I'm going I'm to draw a card first. Because you're dumb. Because <laughs> you're <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're I'll dumb. I'll these lockpicks, and then I'll run them. Nice. Oh, man. So we're eight, uh, we're eight to three. Minus two. Minus two. Five is more as well. It's exactly two bigger than. <laughs> uh, we'll just. Yep. Yeah, we'll just get him. Travis, I'm coming. Are you done your turn, Bryn? Uh, yeah, yeah, I drew a card. I played the lockpicks. Do you trust me? Yeah. Alright. We're going to attack at. Uh, he has three. We yeah. have five. Uh, we'll go seven. That hits perfectly. I one second, one second. Uh, if I return this, you go to five. That puts me this Jacob Morrison. I'll return this to my hand, and we'll pass instead. Okay, but they got dead now. I take damage, right? <laughs> yeah, you're good. Uh, we have one action left. I think I want to get ready to fight you. So I only have one question yeah. right now, and that is how. Do you use a harpoon with a single hand? It's like using a shovel with one hand. Have you like, seen his muscles? <laughs> it's not hard when you're like trying to kill someone with it. If you're trying to use for intent intended purpose, it's probably a little tough. Um, I'll draw a card because my only other weakness is my fish thing. Cool. Money cards. Yep. No. I don't think those need to be in my deck. Well, hello there. <laughs> Uh, we are at three doom of seven. Uh, she... Only gets if it doesn't have doom? Yeah. Fine. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Uh, Brynn, your evil card when you're ready. This place fucking sucks. Fish. <laughs> uh, Surge. Uh, no parlay. The sequel. You know, whatever I guess. Alright, Bryn, why don't you go You have first? to actually test that. Oh, that's right. That's a test. Fail, do both. Oh, so I failed that. I would uh, greatly appreciate it if somebody could help me realize that I don't look like a fish. That would be cool. Um, I mean, we got to progress cool. this, so... Uh, I'm going to be lucky. I don't know. That. You look like just as much fish as I do. 
seed either. You saying play. I look like a fish? Um, I'll put this in play. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? A brain? Oh, yeah, it's a brain test. I could help you with that. Like I could try to do those. Yeah, like I don't, I don't need to do it right away. Being this shit. But uh, it does give me minus one book. I'll come in and try and help you. You're gonna stay here for like a turn, right? I hadn't planned on it. I was just gonna leave. Uh, okay. Well, then why don't you go first? We'll see where you end up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See how that works out. We have eight tokens oh. in the bag. The first thing yeah. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this in the shadows and disengage from this enemy. Hunter? Okay. Yep. Yeah, he does. Yeah, look at him. He's like a flying man. Then I'm gonna I'm fire gonna that from your the shadow over us. We got eight. <laughs> five. We'll commit this plan of action. Nice. For one. We got nine to five. Noise. From the future. We don't break our picks. Nice. Two blues? Uh, I will. Um, I mean, this guy is Hunter, so oh. I, could, I could just evade him for free here. I. Yeah. If. Okay, battery is dying. It's good to know it switches through, but yellow is okay still. Okay. It's like still kind of green. Yeah, we'll check after. So uh, the batteries do not last long, but we're learning. Um, yeah, like I'm game to do either one. I can't use the clues this turn, and I've got a pile of them anyway. Sure, because then that leaves Travis. So, to... yeah, it also discards this. Nice. Uh, no, that just gives him i uh, I'm going to go hang out at the, the church green, I think. Cool. And that's my turn. Travis, why don't you go next? I'll go to the church place. With Brent? This, I will. Is, this, is, this is where you should be. Yeah. yeah. No, this is where I belong. I'll try to break your fish thing. Well, that's cool. I got five. I got, I got no cards. Fifth is up. Minus two? Uh, you're not a fish. Thank you. Um, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I am human. I forgot. I'm I will try fish. to not be a fish as well. I might be a fish. I'm not a fish. I'm not a fish. <laughs> 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 but but we're the blessed tokens. <laughs> we're blessing. Is that a free choice? Yeah, those three actions. All right, we're gonna move up here. What productive turn? I just walked to the church and I was like, "You're not a fish. I'm not a fish." And that was it. God did not make us in the image of a fish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm gonna attack this person for six, six to two. And oh my God, she's right. Okay, we're going to return this to my hand. I'm going to stop there and then ready him and kill. Yeah, trigger about a thousand things. Yeah. Unless you want to save it. Or is no. there more than one? I want one here because it goes into the end of the round. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't actually change anything. <laughs> well, I guess I should reel this location. Uh, it's a double action draw, four cards. Sick. Wow. I would love to do that. Uh, and I'm gonna move up here to be with my friends, but most importantly to go work on that guy for a bit. Man, this guy's gonna take so long to kill. Yes. Unless you got a Derringer hidden. In, you know, you don't have any sleeves, but. <laughs> no, my net's still just uh, the only thing I have up my sleeve. Uh, cards and resources. You know, I feel like kind of an idiot for playing emergency cash in my deck right now. <laughs> well, easy upgrade out of, right? Yep. Thank you. Bong. On wings of darkness. Well, I'll just test four all. There's like actually almost infinite. Uh, should that be in here for your end of the round? Yeah. Palm it, draw it. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are you testing? I'm foot four. Okay. So, <laughs> so right now he's, well, what do you have? Right now he's uh, four all. Right now I'm up six. Right now I'm up four. I wish I had a Chris in Bali. Not to reference everyone at home, it's uh... That will pass me. <laughs> Assuming okay, that I get to keep them. Yeah, you can keep them. 
<laughs> and then we get to put some so back in, over there. So in and actual then... truth, I should have just used this on the first one, but I forgot we were at the same location. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> it's good. We got to, uh, we got two curse surfaces. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, got yeah. Yeah. I got a brain check. There's a minus two that has to go next to Travis. Yeah, and I didn't, uh, I didn't get got by a night gun, so that's pretty cool. All right, Brent, well, so far you can spend your... Uh, Travis, why don't you stop there? Okay. <laughs> Uh, it, it, I think it still takes it out of the bag. Yeah, mine does. Yeah, it just. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I cannot spend a clue, so I'll take two damage. Sad. <laughs> Ooh, it's parlay o'clock. Yeah, why don't it you is yeah, let's do that right now? I got six. I'll look at two cards. Pick the treachery. One day we're gonna be playing the scenario, so I'm just gonna look at two cards, and we're both just gonna be like, "Is one look?" Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm a fish. And it'll be like playing a uh, second edition. Yep. Well, both of them live over at this side. Um. So the only we know is we know it's not new church cream. But yeah, those get revealed, so like we know it's also not those. Yeah. What are they, Brent? Oh yeah, I guess like. Because the one, the ones that it is are the ones that aren't yes. in this pile. Yeah. Okay, we got Joyce Little in the Sawbone Alley. Cool. Um, I'm gonna put the Sawbone Alley into play because it seems easier than Joyce does. What does Joyce do? She's just an enemy that you parlay with. Hello. She does. Kill. She does horror damage to you. Oh, test brain three. Yeah. So she goes back in, and then we take the top card. That is how this works. Yep. And then shuffle. Yeah, this one's up top. Cool. Cool. Okay, it's uh. I mean, like I'll do investigative yeah, stuff. Yeah, you that was that was just something you did as a light. Yeah, that's right? a lightning bolt effect, right? So we're not actually. Okay. Uh, I was planning to go talk with him. We're actually never gonna kill this guy. My plan is just kill him. Like right now, I have a window to go attack him for a bunch. Yeah, of I mean, right? like do it. Sure. Just Hello. Right down. Uh, we're gonna commit this stunning blow to this. Hey. So we're at see this. This is gonna be you. Six to three. Uh, we must keep going. Sad. Uh, I will return this. <laughs> uh, repeat. Caution. Repeat. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool, 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 so cool. close. He'll take a damage and be evaded. Nerd. Thank you, Brent. Suck it, nerd. <sighs> well, if you had nothing else to do and wanted sweet, sweet victory, Travis, come on over. I think I'd be. It's much more efficient. We try to get the yeah. clues location for victory. What are you talking about? You don't want to fight four to three against this guy, as opposed to testing five to Fight four to, to three X? and have to draw a blast token and do any damage to him? Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I'll go next. I'll fire up my lockpicks. Or break it into a church. Yeah, I'm a nun. You can just walk in. <laughs> and? <laughs> no far where's are you the, doing it. Where's the, where's the fun in that? Yeah, church is not like nine difficulty, so we're good. Uh, we'll take a clear off. Um, just five to, five to three. You should feel um, lucky. That's why I get to the best kit and I had to play a card to do it. <laughs> uh, we'll do it again, and we'll throw this. Uh, we'll throw this perception at it. Cause uh, we should feel blessed. I would love for this to be a different card. Minus two. Perfect. That's a good, yeah. And does that like a three? Nice. No, I don't. I don't want to take the clue. Actually, I just want it off the location. I get you. you done? Yep. I uh, play the scary angel for no money, and then. I'm gonna yeah. investigate. This game's so much harder when you don't have cigarettes. Yeah. Five, three. What's this? Minus two? Minus two. Get clue. And I'll investigate again. Five, three. I'm helping. I see that. Not this one, though. Last uh, my turn. Hello! I'll help you with the evade on that one, I think. Rip. Okay, uh, sure. Assuming you don't have a way to do it. 
I do, but I can save any of my resources to damage him, so. Yeah. Uh, bonk. I mean bong, not bonk. That's what, <laughs> that's what Stunning Blow does. See you later. One. No, you know what? I'll just take some damage this time. I can take damage this time. I haven't taken damage yet. Uh, hey! I got Innsmouth Troublemaker, he has Hunter as an action, place one of your clues on your location, parlay, exhaust him, he does not ready during the upkeep phase, you may trigger this uh, action from a connecting location. Spawn location with most clues. It's hard. Okay. Um, you're gonna help Justin lead me to this location? Is that the plan? Yeah, something like that. I'll just start investigating. Five, three. I think as soon as we get six, we should probably burn them again because that's yep. stupid. Put your clues back card is in the stack. I'll take one. I'll take the other, and yeah, we'll just fire it off. Yep. Jockey. Hmm. He knows what's up. He knows to fight. You just hit with a Sabo in Sabo. Yeah, and both on the other side. I'll go. I'll go after you, Justin. Okay. This is probably uh, easier victory. So I, I can make. I can make sure that he's evaded. Sure. Without, uh, like, testless if I have to. So. Uh, what was the other one, Travis? Barnabas Marsh. Hey, yeah, I knew Dad. I knew he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't do it himself. Uh, good point. Uh, three Shroud, three Clues. Maybe you did it. Forced. Yeah. After the last one, Clues <laughs> discovered from the last attack order of Dagger, the top card of the lead stack from the game without looking at it. Spicy. Right on. Okay. <laughs> We are going to attack this guy, and we're going to commit this resourceful to it. So we're at six to three. Minus two, if you fail, this one do on the nearest enemy. I think we're going to return that to my hand, because we don't need it. Get to score the point anyway. Yep. Uh, we'll do that again. My, you're coming to help? Yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure. I'll make sure he's evaded. We'll keep lucky. And then we commit this overpower to this one. So we are seven to three. Draw a card. That is I. Check it out, Justin. I followed him here. Oh, so sick. Oh my god. I get plus four to my investigation. Oh, oh so damage. sick. <laughs> We've so, done it. Those of you at home, watch carefully, because this is the only time the side card's ever going to be good. This is not minus ten. It's minus four. Yeah. Okay, well, I got four from this. <laughs> I had no idea minus four was so, in here. <laughs> that's pretty cool. There's also just a hard minus, minus four in the yeah. pile, yeah. too. Uh, I'll, I discover two clues because that's what follow does. Nice. And uh, then I will evade him because uh, we discovered clues. Sweet. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> neat. <right? laughs> um, yeah, but uh, I'm did gonna you want to stop that guy. Uh, oh, I guess he'll move, hey? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll put one of our clues back, and he won't ready this turn. Nice. We're like this is like playing Far Cry. You're sitting in the bushes throwing a rock. Yeah. He's like, huh? I was like, what was that? I gotta go walk all the way over to look at it. <laughs> uh, Travis, what do you got? Uh, I investigated three times. Yep. Oh, sick. All right. So nothing. Uh. All right, friend. What's your evil card? We're at five of seven. 
Not doing so hot, I feel. An initiative doom. Well, Dagon looks like it's what they do over there. Hey, you should be with me. And they gone. Shit. Man, these guys adding the doom at the end of the round is like... If, uh, if you haven't played Infamous Conspiracy, pay attention to that because... Uh, it's yeah. garbage. It's not the way that normally works. All right, we got two to three. You see either take one horror or put it into play. Each location gets plus one shroud. I believe. That puts us to zero, of course. That's how math works. I'm going to spend two lucky effects to just say no. <laughs> you pass. Right. Yeah, I use two luckies. Okay, you take a whore? Yeah, take a whore. <sighs> so, we'll probably make an acquisition like next turn. I think it was Silas Marsh. I don't think it was Salish Marsh. Uh, if, if, we, if we can kill her this turn, we want to make it this turn. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like, in a perfect world, I kill this guy, I can move in there and attack her. She is, like, strong right now. But, you know. Uh, I'll go. Now uh, we're going to fight this guy. We have this resourceful. We have this resourceful, and we're going to also use this inspiring presence. So that gives us seven to three. Hey, I need both of those. Uh, we'll grab this lucky back. Yeah, you could also pick up, uh, like, the harpoon to grab both of them back. That's an option. I don't know if it's a good choice or not. I think right now not, because i gotta, I got to kill her. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and I also can just, he'll stand up and he'll get healed, and this guy can roll the victory display. Nice. Very nice. Money. I was pretty sure we were never killing that guy. We don't know the things that do the damage. Yeah, me too. Uh, we're going to move in here. But uh, clearly I underestimated the, the power of a determined shirtless man with a stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'll just stab it like ten times. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I'm expecting to fail this, so we're going to commit this take heart. But if I pass, I'll just put it back. So I have five to four. Nice. Gabe Johnson, we're done here. Yep. That's me. All right, well, that was, that was good. That was good. Um, so we're accusing next turn? Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll try to evade this knight. Brendan, can you just, like, get this clue and evade this guy? <laughs> I could. I was gonna go get a big pile of clues this turn, though. Can you get six? And, like, get to look at... Well, I can get, uh, I can get three for sure. Right. I'll, I'll do... I'll try and deal with this guy. I will try uh, to evade him. But, like, I could, I could do that as well. No, it's fine. I forgot. I got four to... One. So it's actually not. Yeah, this guy's evaded. <laughs> and I will investigate with the six cents at so five to three. Yep. And I'll take the clue that's here, and then I'll leave. <laughs> then I'll GTFO. Uh, yeah. What's in this place? It's just a shop, but... <laughs> yeah, no, I actually uh, have no I'll reason to watch you. it either. Okay. So 
So I really only need to get two clues, is what you're telling me, to look at one card. Yeah. And maybe it's one we haven't seen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll play this lucky cigarette case. I'll move in here. Hello. This guy's like my best friend. He is pretty good. I'm gonna fire up lockpicks. I got nine to two. I'll draw nice. a card. Um, I'll grab two clues. Easy peasy. Uh, yeah, uh, and then I'll just... I can burn yours or I can burn mine, I don't care which. Uh, but I think you having yours might be actually more important because that chasing oh, shadow yeah, the guy is thing. there, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, like, I can, I can soak that a couple of times. Yeah, okay. Just with, like, my base numbers. You did you spend three? Yeah, yeah, so I get to see one. Man, that... Uh... Oh. That's, uh... It's this guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... I don't have any money. Yeah, okay. How much does your card cost? Two. Is that for regular? Oh, no, we're not at the same location. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why, but I thought... Oh, we That's started. Okay. Okay. So we were at the end of my turn. I could have been at the end of your turn. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm stupid. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah. is that a turn? Yep. So you get the bonk. Get the bonk. Then that man stands up. Find another one. <coughs> so next turn we're making our accusation. Doesn't that flip a seven? Yeah. Do we want to do it last turn? No, like, I mean like this round we're making. Yeah, yeah, this next. Yeah. Yeah. On wings of darkness. Oh, I got this plan of action to commit for two. Minus two, plus two. Uh, if you, oh yeah, you. you have no, this. I have it. Okay, right. if you want to put this one back in, I pass without it. But I did. Yeah. No, it's okay. Okay. I drew up screen four. A uh, book check to make. I am uh, four to three. Book check of fail. Cool. No parlays. Yeah, right on. Right on. I should have one money. I mean, like, I guess I might as well go on the guardian angel. All right, Brian. What do you got going on? <laughs> uh, I got some troublemakers who are gonna kill the crap out of me unless I evade them. So. Do you think the scenario is actually going to end? I don't think so. Okay. I just don't think there's been enough time for us to actually interact with it yet. I do think we, I think because like we, we assume have to do the same. Should, we should do an accusation this turn, but... we got to do it. Like, no, I, there's got to be more scenario after the accusation. Right? Yes, yeah. Because I feel like nothing's happened. Yeah. That's that's fair. We've just kind of been bummed around town. Uh, this guy was where? He was New Church? Yeah, he was New Church. Okay. Hello. All right, Bryn. This would have been a perfect time for me to have my net in play. It's all good. I can probably just evade them. Uh, why don't you go first, yeah. and I can like react. Yeah, we'll run, uh, we'll run evade. Four to two. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, let's do it again. Thank you. What's this one? Uh, minus three if you fail, take one horror. Oh, that's a bad All right, thing. let's evade again. Uh, no, you know what? Let's parlay. Oh, we can't right now. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Why are you so annoying? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, oh, fuck. Yeah, okay, cool. That's my turn. It's tough. It's tough. You know, what can you do? Can we just kill those guys? Yes. Yeah, they, they could just die. Okay. I mean, I can't do that, but, like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I could walk over there and kind of hit one. Maybe hit one. Um, so my first two actions are going to be moving here. I'll just take one of them. Right on. Appreciates it. Cool. Uh, Travis, you should get away with that night gone. I should. 
but instead, <laughs> what I'm gonna do. Um. I'll just come, like, hang out with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, play a. How are you doing for cards in hand? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, I have seven. Oh, I'm fine. four. Okay, I will play... No, I will play the, the Scroll of Prophecies. For the last one of these. Sounds good. That'll be my turn. Alright, boys. The who done it? Okay, so... It could have happened... There, they could be hiding... In the Innsmouth Jail. Yep. Or... In the house on Water Street, okay. or okay. The, sh the shoreward slums. Okay. So and slums, house, or jail, and the people that could have done it are so many. It's Brian Burnham, Arthur Gilman, Zadok Allen, and Robert Friendly. I think it was Robert Friendly in the jail for sure. Don't trust him. Don't trust the jail. His his last name is a bit suspect. It is a bit suspect. It's always the person you most second suspect because I thought it was going to be my family. I I think it's Zadok. That's going to be guess awesome. Too. That guy is. Pretty, no one like no one would name their kids Zadok and not have him grow up to be a murderer. It's true. Brand. <laughs> He's probably also just like. In the slums, yeah. Yeah. Right, so you I get say, the final I, say. I say we split the difference on this and we pick one of your locations sure. with the yeah. other one. All right, <laughs> so Robert first. Friendly or the jail? Uh, Zadok Allen or the slums? Uh, odds, odds evens. If it's evens, oh, okay. it's Robert Friendly. Okay. Imagine if Thomas, Yeah, Robert Friendly! Imagine if In the slums? Dawson yeah. saw you just roll, what are you guys doing? Rolling dice or we're going to accuse? <laughs> <laughs> we're professionals. <laughs> Uh, so, do we now just... I don't know, what does it say? <laughs> you may advance the end of the round, you have to make it... Oh, so, okay. Oh, we read the accusation in the campaign guide. The time has come for you to reveal, reveal your hand. You will really taste Harper's steps? No. Uh, we learned a lot about Innsmouth and its citizen street? No. Perhaps with this information you can narrow down where Harper is now? No. But if you aren't swift and decisive, the kidnapper will surely discover you are onto them. You have only one chance to get this right. One chance to locate Harper's surprise or kidnapper, and if you're wrong, it's back to square one or worse. Cool. Uh, once the accusation has been made, do the following. It was at the jail. Fuck. And Brian Burton. All right. So, I'm supposed to circle the correct ones, but I don't have that, so I'll just write them down here in bigger <laughs> letters. <laughs> okay, alright. Well, we were like almost close. Yeah. Uh, if neither card matches your accusation, we're on the wrong track and must immediately resign. Whoa, that sucks. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Wow. The town of Innsmouth has proven more hostile and unwelcome than you could have ever imagined. At every turn, you were stalked by sorted brutes and disfigured silhouettes. Figures that crawl on all fours and watch you from the shadows with bulging, unblinking eyes. Fearing that you have drawn too much attention to your investigation, you retreat to your hotel room only to find it ransacked. Your luggage is ravaged, its contents strewn about. Much of your gear has been stolen. Scrawled on the wall in black paint is a warning. Interlopers drown in the deep. Proceed oh. to R1. Crap. You're cleaning up the mess left by those who vandalize your hotel room when you hear shuffling outside your door. Fearing the worst, you press up against the wall and wait in perfect silence. There's no escape from your room other than a narrow window of dirty glass that you don't think you can fit through. Your heart thumps loudly in your chest as you wait for whatever is to come. A knock on the door, a break in, anything. You certainly aren't expecting a small leather notebook to slip through the crack under your door, though that's exactly what happens. After a moment, you breathe a sigh of relief and step forward to examine the notebook. It's an old handwritten account describing the history of the strange town of Innsmouth as far back as the early 1800s, though the author goes unnamed. The record seems to focus primarily on Obed Marsh's founding of a strange organization called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. 
You don't remember any manuscripts of the sort on sale at the local bookstore, nor do you think the town has any libraries to speak of. Where was this notebook found, and who delivered it to you? It's just Silas forgetting stuff. Yeah. Curiosity gets the better of you. You open the door to your hotel room, and the dim, dusty hall lies bare before you. The identity of your benefactor eludes you. Still, you can't pass up a chance like this. For the remainder of the night, you study the record, jotting notes down the margin as you draw connections between Innsmouth paths and the events of the past week. One thing becomes clear. Whatever this esoteric order of Dagon is, its members must be the ones behind Agent Harper's kidnapping. And just as Agent Dawson suspected, their motives seem to have nothing to do with evading prohibition. Huh. Um, we record... One, two victory? Two victory. Uh, but it does not get spent yet. <laughs> uh, and then the campaign log record the mission failed. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Let's see the two interlude two. The syzygy. The syzygy? Oh my god. Is this a lot of reading? Light flashes in your mind. Shadows drown your thoughts as memory fades. You are lying once again on the rocky beach off the coast, your skull pounding in agony. Agent Harper leans over you with worry etched in her brow. Hey, hey, are you finally awake? You sit up, your muscles aching. It looks like the tide rose several more inches while you were out. The cold water laps to your ankles and soaks into your shoes. What happened, she said. What did you see? You tell it, Harper you remember your mission to find her, but after that, after a week of searching, you hadn't been able to do so. The last thing you remember was somebody slipping a notebook under your hotel room door with some information regarding an organization called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Oh, yeah, that was me. Sorry I couldn't stick around and chat, but I had some other business to attend to. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> she tells you that after several days in captivity, she managed to finally get... The she finally managed to get the upper hand against her captor and free herself, but she was injured in the process. As if to prove her story, she opens her trench coat and you see dark blood stains seeping through her button-up shirt. Several bandages peek out beneath the fabric. Just barely missed my kidney. Lucky me, eh? You complain that you were wasting your time switching high and low for her, and she scoffs. Hardly. You learned more in one week than I did in two. I knew that you were onto something, and I wanted to help out, but I was being followed. So I dropped off one the one solid bit of research I'd found and laid low for a while. It was you who did the rest, really. Sadly, you remember nothing of the rest. Don't worry, she says. I'll catch you up. There's a lot you still don't remember. Just then, a resounding crash of thunder echoes in the eastern horizon and a powerful wave smashes against the jetties. The sky is a deep crimson red behind blackening storm clouds that swirl around the sun and the moon. The celestial bodies hang together in perfect alignment. That can't be good. Harper's lips turn rigid with concern. Okay, new plan. Let's get back to Innsmouth. I'll explain what I know along the way. With a fragment of your memories returned to you, past events have become clear. Uh, we can now spend our two experience. Yes! Anyways, that's it. We can roll on to the next scenario. Uh, yeah, we proceed to scenario three into deep. It, I've done it. He's done it. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll be back next Friday for the next episode where we're going to be in too deep. We'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.